After more than half a century of waiting, the sweet little girl seen in this forensic picture finally has a name. Sharon Lee Gallegos was abducted on July 21st, 1960, while playing with two other children in an alley behind her grandmother's house in Amagordo, New Mexico. We now know more than 60 years later that Sharon's remains were found burned and partially buried in a wash in Congress, Arizona, 85 miles northwest of Phoenix and more than 500 miles from her home in New Mexico. Yavapai County Sheriff officials identifying Sharon after Texas-based Orthrum Laboratories conducted a DNA analysis, identifying the four-year-old little girl the community embraced as one of their own, even raising money to bury her in an unnamed grave all those years ago. That was my mother's sister. On Tuesday, Sharon's nephew, Ray Chavez, speaking on his family's behalf, born five years after his aunt was abducted, seen in this family photo with her siblings, petite and innocent. Growing up, we didn't talk about it too much as a family. I was probably 12 years old when I finally got the courage to ask my mother about it. She was feisty, a happy-go-lucky, almost five years old. She loved playing with her cousins. Sharon's name is the answer to one of many questions surrounding her abduction. The woman then got out of the car, grabbed Sharon by the elbow and, and pulled her into the car. Lieutenant Tom Boltz with the county's Criminal Investigation Bureau says at the time there were newspaper reports in Almogordo that a white man and woman driving a dark green 1951 sedan were responsible for taking Sharon. What happened in those 10 days from the time she was taken to the time she was found? Why take her and then 10 days later she was found deceased? Doesn't make any sense. Until those questions are answered, Ray and his family are holding on to the kindness of the Yavapai community for never giving up on the little girl that no longer is a nobody. Thank you for keeping my aunt safe and never forgetting her. Josh Sanders, 12 News.